I know you don't want to hear about it, God's Word, but people today have sinned. But until we as believers in Christ can get them to hear, bullying will stay on this earth. People hold grudges for no reason. But if they knew Christ, they would see all of it does is kill the heart. Everyone has been bullied at one time or another. If you remember, it made you feel like you were a nobody and cried inside. If you avenge for yourself, you are being like Creator God. If it be possible, as much as life in you, live peaceably with all men. Dearly beloved, avenge not yourself, but rather give peace unto wrath, for it is written, Vengeance is mine. I will repay, saith the Lord. We all need to take time for each other and talk to them about what is making them mad at you. It would help make friends, not enemies. Did you know that you will be judged by Creator God on what you do and say? But I say unto you that every idle word that man shall speak, they shall give an account thereof in the day of judgment. Now, let's look at the other side for just a moment. They have anger in them, and they don't know what to do about it. If you would take the time to hear what the other has to say, then you would not be kindled to wrath, anger within. Wherefore, my beloved brethren, let every man be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. To be anger is not helping your life. It destroys your life. It puts you in bondage. It is saying you are ruling over me. I pray that this is not what you want. And really, it makes you look like a fool. Be not hasty in thy spirit to be angry, for anger resteth in the bosom of a fool. When you go to bed at night, you will not rest. And when you get up the next day, it will still be with you till you get rid of it. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down on your wrath. If you have control over what you think or believe, your life will be much happier than living with the devil. He that has no ruler over his own spirit is like a city that is broken down and without walls. Let me ask you, did your parents teach you to be this way? You know you are the reflection of them. So, are you rebelling against them? Train up a child in the way he should go, and when he is old, he will not depart from it. In Creator God's law, there is only one that has a promise. Honor thy father and mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. And it is to the children of the youth. If you are the bully, or you are being bullied, I feel sorry for you, for the love of Christ is not in you, if you do not belong to him. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance, against such there is no law. Your heart needs the blood of Christ on it. It is to get to heaven. I, even I, am he that blotteth out thy transgression for my own sake, and will not remember thy sins. He will not remember what you did wrong. If you think I am good, you don't need to. You are wrong. I am not. He that saith he is in the light, and hateth his brother, is in darkness even unto now. He that loveth his brother abideth in light, and there is none occasion of stumbling in him. But he that hateth his brother is in darkness, and walketh in darkness, and knoweth not whether he goeth, because that darkness hath blinded his eyes. 
truth is all we have in today's world. It has been deceived into thinking there is nothing wrong. Look around you. So much darkness. If you love darkness, he will reject you. And this is the condemnation that light is come into the world. And man loves darkness rather than light because their deeds were evil. If you have light in you, it will shine in your life. If you love people the way you want to be loved, you will have more friends than enemies. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. This is the first commandment. And the second is like, namely this, thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. There is none other commandment greater than these. You have a purpose on this earth, and it is not to do anyone harm. And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them who are called according to his purpose. If you think about it, you will think, do I want this in my life? A fool utters all his mind, but a wise man keepeth it till afterwards. Remember, your spirit is of God, and he will be there when all else fails. God is spirit, and they that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. Trust is a good thing in life. It shows you are bigger than them, and it will work for the Creator God. Don't be deceived in this world. We all sin. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confesseth is made unto salvation. Thank you for your time to watch. Please subscribe and comment and pass on. Jesus is needed in all life. Thank you, subscribers. I appreciate your time with the Lord Jesus Christ with me.